Hello everybody and welcome back to the new save file. This time we're going to be jumping in as Tarnished Judas. I have finally gotten to the point where I am, for one, not ill enough to actually want to play this guy. And I've watched a video on how he works. So I'm not going to be like with uh, Tarnished Maggie where I just had no idea what I was doing. I also watched the Tarnished Maggie video as well. I was suggested to do that. I had actually watched them before, but they, them videos came out like six months ago. So I had no idea what I was doing. But this guy's interesting. Basically... We start as this little demon boy, um, we can use control to uh, spread out these little shadow clone boys and we can change around where they are and whatnot. The further away they are from us, the more damage we're going to get. And then we can also use descent here to swap positions and deal damage to anything in between. He's, he's a pretty interesting character. I don't personally know how much use I'm going to end up getting out of the... Um, out of the clones, I'll be honest. They, they seem really finicky to, to like utilize, especially considering their positions reset on entering new rooms. Um, like I kind of wish they just stayed how they were. Basically, one thing I will use them for though is getting behind, um, getting behind walls to grab consumables, because otherwise I couldn't do that. But yeah, he's he's a little bit finicky to play around with, I think. And of course, something to just quickly note is. Any character that you play as, um, oh my god, this enemy has so much health. Enemy char any character that you play as that has more copies of themselves, also that's really good for us, uh, more copies of themselves, um, unfortunately tend to be laggier, and this character is no exception to that rule. Um, it, it is going to be that we're a little bit laggier but because of that, but we're going to be firing more knockout drops, which is really, really nice. I like that. All of our uh, all of our little shadow clones here, of course, do a lot less damage, but they can still proc our tier effects. So they're still good fellas. They're good to have. Yeah, we're gonna be wanting to do this whenever we can. You just got, got, got to press control, and it um, it moves them around. Of course, squishing into a wall that like you just saw there will um, will of course cause them to come closer like this. Look, um, I don't know how much use I'm gonna get out of descent. I'll be honest. The scent seems like a bit of a weird one. Oh god, those rocks in the middle are really messing with me. But I could do this and then... Okay, that did a little bit of damage. But apparently that can also adopt to your effects, so... Seems like Descent could be really good. I think Descent I'm mainly going to end up using just for collecting consumables that are behind stuff that I can't normally reach, though. Using it for the, the teleport thing in combat, I think he's going to get me hit more than anything else, I'll be honest. <laughs> Um, as for the question, like, like this, look, we can go, um, do, 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 do. I can go like that and then grab this, and then like that, 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 okay, this is good, this is good, that, that's the sort of situation where this is super, Super useful. As for the question of the day today, what is something that recently has thoroughly confused you? What's something recently that's just been really confusing to you? Like some, something in the news, something that happened to you? Something that's just popular on the internet right now? What is something that just thoroughly you do not understand? That's always a question that I love asking people because the just the answers can be so varied. Also, a pentagram, awesome. Uh, we'll stick to the regular path here, because while we're learning a character, I think we ought to. There is uh, a bit of an interesting mechanic with this guy and devil deals as well, but I'll sort of explain that as we as we reach them. On rooms like this, we want to be spreading out as much as possible, because we're going to be doing more damage. We can also swap to do a good amount of damage there. Really, I think this is the optimal setup, though. Keeping everyone close so we can get more tier effect procs, regardless of the fact that the damage is lower. The tier effect procs are really what matters, I think. Ooh, that, was, that spider kind of slipped in there. Oh, also, as you might just have noticed, this guy takes full heart damage. This guy takes full heart damage all the time. So that is probably his biggest downside in the early game. That makes things rather tricky. Um, I'm sure that's going to end up being problematic for us down the road, but we'll try and fight through it. Um, what the hell is that? One damage, enemies receive more knockback. Oh, 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 
boy. This with knockout drops could be hilarious. That is, that is honestly something beautiful. So not only are we knocking them back normally, but then knockout drops could just give them a super knockback. Oh, this is something beautiful, truly. Oh, fuck. Okay. That's not beautiful, though. Accidentally knocking an enemy directly into myself. So, no, I have to say, this character was, when upon me sort of seeing the tarnished characters, this one was the least interesting to me. I don't know why, it's got quite a lot of interesting things with it, but on playing the character, I'm actually enjoying the character way more than I thought I would. Like, way, way more. Um, I, I, I thought that the, the, the clones would be way too cumbersome to, like, actually utilize, but honestly, they're really not that bad. Um, I think if you want to be moving around for optimal damage all the time, then yes, it's going to be cumbersome. Um, but otherwise, it's not too bad. Honestly, this... This knockback stuff is hilarious. I love this. <laughs> Everything's getting knocked around like crazy. I do wish that it would um, keep them in the formation between rooms, but I also get why it can't do that. Because different room sizes would be tricky for that, and also it might just be a little too strong. But then that guy took forever. I also really like the... Uh, the sound effects that we've got with the mix of knockout drops and this other item. You've got to remember that when I walk against walls, it's going to cause problems. What I really need to do is I need to get um, flight so I don't get knocked around by things. You, you, you can clearly see here, though, the damage when we're not hitting with our tears is abysmal. We really have to make sure that our tears are the thing that's hitting the enemy if we want to kill them fast. Me or you? Spectral would also be fantastic with the setup. Like, unbelievably good. Being able to not have to worry about where my where my clones are to be able to actually hit things and having them be able to hit everywhere. That would be masterful. Fire rate would also be really good. But yeah, we can we can get some more clones going later on as well. I'm gonna try and do that. I think we will die, honestly, on as this guy, just because full heart damage and learning the character. I'm not expecting a super good run, but it's all about practice and all about trying to understand new things. So, I'm excited to give it a go, nonetheless. I'm excited to give it a go, nonetheless. Punch, punch, punch. Beautiful. This ghost is so annoying. Another key is really good. We've been to our item room this floor. Yes, we have. Rooms like this aren't great for us. But things do it do be dying very quickly. Also, get some free mini Isaacs. Sadly, these guys don't have their own custom mini Isaacs yet, which I'm kind of surprised at. I thought the custom mini Isaacs mod was on it with, uh, with modded characters, and these guys are popular. Beautiful. <laughs> Just all I can hear is punching sounds. It's literally the only thing audible throughout this run. Hilarious. The absolute best fighter there ever was. The best fighter there ever was. <laughs> Just bullying everything. It's because we've got so many tears firing out. We could just keep enemies at such a distance. It's beautiful. Like, look at this. Get away from me. You ain't getting anywhere near close enough to do damage. My good sir. Oh, enemies like this as well. Bosses that, that are, like, a big. Knocked around loads. Oh, I, I already... We, we've got three items. I love this run already. Okay. Devil deal. Here we go. So you'll see when we walk into this devil deal. Things do not cost hearts. They cost broken hearts. This is unfortunately a very terrible devil deal. Um, I'm still going to take Brother Bobby though. Uh, but it's free. Like, we just we just gain broken hearts. And at certain th thresholds of broken hearts, we evolve and gain more shadow clones. Um, so, four, uh, four broken hearts is our first level up, so to say. 
So we need to be getting to there as soon as possible. It's a little bit of a shame that we uh, only got one devil deal and it had happened to be Brother Bobby there, I have to say. That was a bit devastating. I love the fact that as they get lower HP, they bounce around even more as well. Gets to the point where we're just boinking people all over the place. Gotcha. And, I, like, it's, it's weird. I, I feel, like, strong but not overly, like, overpowered or anything as this character, too. I mean, we do have some good items. We've got, like, two damage upgrades already. Which, considering this guy starts with lower damage and a damage down multiplier, um, it's pretty good going, the damage that we're on. Good, good, good. And then we get Sinus Infection. Oh, my God, that's amazing with this setup. Because all of our dudes can trigger Sinus Infection here. Holy shit, what a chest. My goodness, that was amazing. Yeah, I think all my dudes can trigger sinus infection here. Oh, I also got a, a random luck upgrade here. Lovely. Unfortunately, that was terrible. Really hoping for a soul heart there. But yeah, we're going to be sticking bugger tears to everyone. Causing a whole bunch of issues. It's going to be beautiful. Okay, kill them one at a time. Oh my god. I absolutely love this run. This run is one of my favourite runs in the early game I've had in a while. I've just got to remember, I have very low HP right now. I literally only have 4 HP. Ooh, that's... I was going to say that's potentially useful. It's not really. I could go and see what the dice room is. I also would like to do boss rush if I can. Knock people around like crazy. That's pretty good. We'll take that. Some extra luck. Knockout drops is, of course, scaling off of luck. So, it's really good for us. I think this is secret room. That it is. Oh, dude. I just realized... Every time the Bugatier ticks damage, it deals knockback. That's hilarious. I don't know why that's the case, but that is hilarious. Haunted Penny unlocked, thank you. We also have a lot of, uh, a lot of wisps around us, which is pretty good. Things jump into us and they just instantly die. Oh my god. This run is just wacky. Oh my god, the tinted rocks as well. The tinted rocks are going wild too. Anything else we need to see on this floor? Not really. We can just get gone. Right. By the way, I'm sure I'll forget to use Descent like all the time. I apologize. Look at him just stuck in the corner there. Get fucked, boy. -er. <laughs> wow. And we we do have duality here. If we go to an angel deal, we can remove broken hearts. But we're going to go devil deal. And I think we're going to take toy piano because once again, it's a status effect. And now we have upgraded... And we have more Shadow Clones. This is good. I think we're probably going to stay at four. You can get another two Shadow Clones at eight Broken Hearts, but I think that's just too risky. I think I'm probably probably going to stick at four. Um, but we'll see. But yeah, I think the Doom is going to stack up very quickly because of the amount of people we have. Oh, I see what's happening here. I didn't realize that guy had the uh, thingy on him. Yeah, the Doom's going to stack up very, very quickly, which is great, actually, because the Doom, I believe, is just a flat amount of damage, not based on our damage values. I'm not 100% sure on that. I should have read and found out. But that means we can deal some more consistent damage, regardless of how much damage our uh, clones are doing. Eh, it might be based on our damage, actually. Th these guys aren't dying too quickly. But it's triggering fast. You can see that. Library is pretty good here. We get um, Anarchist Cookbook and then Unused items held up. Enemies in your range of field while it's held. That's actually awful. 
Both of these are pretty dookie, I'll be honest. Both of them are not my style at all. But we are one-off bookworm now, so that's good. This floor's kind of tricky, to be honest, because I can't really see my clones very well. Gonna try and find our item room real quick. But yeah, this is... This is something special. It really is. The the Sour Patch or whatever it's called was really good. The Sour Face. That was a good grab. Okay. We'll play this down to like two keys. If we actually need to. I'd like to get an item out of it. Apple of Sodom. Eh. Nah, unfortunately. No payout. That's how it rolls sometimes. Right. I think we're just going to go. I'm ready to speed along, to be honest. I'm ready to speed along. The knockback. It's extreme. The doom is also quite extreme. It's the fact that we've got all these wisps shooting at the same time as well. We have this constant suite of tons of wisps. He can't get close to us. It's hilarious. This is just, this is just chaos. It's beautiful chaos. Why, thank you. Uh, honestly, max HP, I'll definitely take that. Thank you. And we continue on on this just uber run. Just uber run. By the way, I saw your comments in the last episode um, that I posted, not the last episode I recorded, so you guys, this will be like days ago for you guys, about what you'd like to see. Some of you said that you'd like to see more challenge runs, so I'm going to try and fit more challenge runs in. I haven't been doing them for a while. One of, honestly, one of the things for challenge runs for me, um, Cern Bond is so good if we get more familiars. Um, one of the things for me with challenge runs that's difficult, and this is really stupid, It shouldn't. this shouldn't be a problem, it's that all of the challenges you play as Isaac, so how the fuck do I thumbnail them without it just being Isaac every time? That's a genuine concern of mine. Like, because I feel like people are going to be less likely to click on a thumbnail if they see us the same character every time. I don't know, maybe they're not. Maybe, maybe people don't care. Maybe there's something specific I can do to make it, like, v visible that it's a challenge run. I don't know. That's always a concern. Oh, t tell you, tell you what, tell you what, something that I did yesterday, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna be playing it more today. I whipped out the PS2, and I've been playing um, a game from my childhood called RC Revenge Pro. And honestly, that game is fantastic. It's so good. Like, I don't know what what's happened. I, I like, I've not really had a look online. I'll be honest. Oh, what's up? oh no, we hit 500. Maybe there isn't a star upgrade at 500. Um, I don't, I don't really know what happened, to be honest. I don't know if I'm just not seeing them. But what happened to RC car racing games? Like, there was a whole era of, like, PS2 and PS1 games that were RC car racing. And they were all, or at least for the majority, fantastic. So good. RC Revenge Pro is definitely one of my favourites. There's, um, Penny Races is one that I used to play as well. Um, there's the classic, which is Revolt. Uh, oh my god, they're just so good. But yeah, RC Revenge Pro. Been playing that uh, yesterday, whipped out the PS2, and it's just been an absolute blast. It really has. It's been a lot of fun. Um, just remembering all the old tracks and stuff. And the thing is as well, it's one of those games that, like, it ain't easy. Like, ki games when you were a kid were kind of fucking brutal. Like, so many games just give you absolutely... By the way, this is going to look glitchy as hell with all these uh, consoles. Um, so many games as a kid just gave you absolutely no fucking guidance whatsoever on what the hell was going on for the majority. And like, I played one of the tracks, and there's no markings, it's really, really dark, there's like hairpin turns. I just have no idea where the fuck I'm going. I was like in 8th place the entire race, completely lost. Um... But I, I still was like, oh my god, I remember this track. This track was amazing. It's also one of those games as well, which I really like in, like, arcade racing games, where there's so many, like, weird and intricate shortcuts. Some of them are really obvious, but there's some others that are, like, literal sort of entire different routes to the track. It's also one of those games as well where, on some tracks, you can, like, transform into a boat. 
Um, oh, it's just and there's like power ups and stuff. It's kind of it's kind of like a Mario Kart ripoff, really. But oh my god, it's just fantastic. Um, I mean, I kind of have to take Perfection of a Sun Bond. See, this is a difficult one. Because if we grab an angel deal here, we lose two of our clones. If we grab a devil deal here, we gain more broken hearts that I don't want. So this is, like, really difficult. I guess I'm, I'm going to check the... I'm going to check the devil deal and just see. Okay, one thing I'm going to try here. So spectral tears there are fantastic. I'm just going to see if this guy requires broken hearts or if I pay with a heart. I'm going to guess I still pay with a heart with this guy. I love the fact that the tears stuck to him just keep triggering the knockback. It's hilarious. Okay, so they do. This is not great. I'll take that. I do want spectral tears. I said that earlier, so I am going to take that. Very risky, I realize, but spectral tears and a tears up. Too good to pass up at this time. Too good to pass up. Like, this is... Gonna be amazing for most runes. Yeah, the tonsils plus the, the, um, what's it called? Bugger tears. Creating some real odd scenarios here. Also, we need to try our hardest to keep our perfection alive. You're not gonna make that easy, are you, frail? Maybe you are. Extra range, I do not doubt that is quite useful. This is Necro 2, okay. Yeah, we have created quite the godly run here. Quite the godly run. It's It, it really is something here. <laughs> <laughs> I am loving it, I have to say. I am loving it. Just knock back heaven with lots and lots of sticky shots. And a good amount of damage as well. And honestly, the Doom seems to be up doing a really good job as well. I mean, now that we've got this crazy look, we're getting like all knockout drop shots, I think. Um, so we're getting like mega knockback on everything. So everything's just kind of insta-dying. It's beautiful. Oh. Also, so many chest drops at the minute. I'm really hoping to get an item out of one of those cardboard chests at some point, because they can drop. They have their own item pool. They can drop items, but not seeing them. And honestly, yeah. Spectral was an absolutely fantastic choice. And now, we can take an angel deal next time. We are well within our right, because we're not at the maximum. Like, we're not... At the next level of gaining, um, what's it called? Um, gaining our shadow clones, so we don't mind losing some broken hearts. Um, Mum's box for 20 luck sounds pretty, pretty damn good. <laughs> I don't know if 20 luck is needed, but I'll certainly take it. Oh shit, who we got here? Oh, there's a few of them, okay. Remember we got Spectral, we can stay back a little bit. Good thing is as well, with this box now, if we lose perfection, we've instantly got a way of getting back a new trinket. The Peeler Duplex, unfortunately that is Spectral, um, which is a little, little bit of a shame. I am going to take it anyways, because the wider shot could provide. Don't know why I'm doing this, because I can't actually afford to carry any hearts. Wow, we got three hearts out of that. That is so lucky. Very, very annoying. A situation where we don't need him. Right. Okay, good. Oh, nope, you're not dead. I thought you were. So much money that we don't need. God damn. Right, let's go straight for the boss here. Oh god, that was close. I did think that was secret room. I was going to check that. 
Ooh, ability to smell a trinket. Oh, no, that's not smell, is it? No, that's that's recraft a trinket. Okay, no. Unfortunately, not useful for us. That's, that's recrafting or upgrading a trinket. Right. Just quickly, I want to check this for second secret room, because it might be. It's not. Let's get in there. That was close. Dude, where's this ghost? Dude, I've got like seconds left, fuck off. Um, unfortunately, nothing there for us. Ooh, clockwork is real fucking good with this. One side of that tier does more damage, other side has bouncy. We'll probably lose perfection in here. I would be very confused if we didn't. But let's try our best nonetheless. Spectral helps a lot here. Honestly, the knockback is just hilarious. Get out of here. Both of you get gone. I basically think anything that fires a brimstone beam has a good chance of uh, getting rid of our perfection. I don't know what the other enemy is here. Oh no, I was like, the, like, what's the other enemy? They both just sat right on top of each other. Don't love a spider at me, you dick. Okay, I think we need to just make sure we're well aware of what we're up against. You, you went straight into the spikes there, so that's, that's your own fault. That is your own fault, sir. Okay. This is a, a dude that needs to die straight. We've also got Tech Pin as well. He also needs to die straw, you bastard. I knew it was going to happen at some point. That does definitely lower our effectiveness by quite a bit. Kingpin. Everybody be careful of Kingpin. The disaster boss that was made in three seconds. Not the sprites, just the actual attack patterns. Plus one shot speed. I mean, I don't know if shot speed affects knockback at all, but if it does, that's ace. Some of these bosses seem to be taking forever to kill, and others are like insta-dying. It's weird. But this guy is taking a fucking beating. <laughs> Look at him go. Get into the corner, you. Yep, he got pummeled. Right, don't worry about these goobers. Get in the spikes. Oh, just push everything into the spikes. That's, that is the way. And we got famine. Champion famine, though. Again, just get in the corner. That's such an amazing strategy for killing stuff. It's just get in the corner. Yeah, these guys have brimstone, remember? <laughs> oh, it's, it's so buggy, but at the same time, it doesn't feel buggy. Like, it doesn't feel glitchy, but it really... It is quite glitchy. Okay, we got Bicycle Man. Y'all boys know I hate Bicycle Man. Very strange boss. What are you doing? Where, where have you gone? Do your stupid thing where you throw your bike at me. 
And then start with your flaming bullshit. Now don't worry, I'm gonna knock you back until you can, can't can speak no more. Just this attack's just, ugh. I hate this attack so much. Covers the entire screen in fire. Where am I meant to go to still be able to hit you? Like you took way longer than you ever should have. Okay, underground enemies ain't so useful for us. Because they can shave off their stickiness bits. They can't just keep stuff stuck to them. You can hear the, like, the, the knockback sound effect just constantly going off. There you go. Monkey's paw there. Not so good. We really need a better um, trinket because right now this trinket is just fine. It's not good. Um, there's plenty of other better things we could get, but the box will provide eventually. That's why we have it. The box will provide. Yeah, you get back as well. Yes, yes, I mean you. Get back. Get into the spikes. Into the spikes. Oh, I fucking love that. I keep saying it, I know, but it's just so entertaining to just shove an enemy into, um, <laughs> into the spikes. It's like, oh, well, we can't kill you fast enough? Well, tough shit. We're just going to force you directly into some spikes. There it is. It's done. Didn't really get a great item here. But, there you go. Um, cool, let's go. Let's go. I think we're in a good position here. Luckily, nothing has changed about how much damage we take on the womb, I don't think. I'm pretty sure you still take just one heart of damage, so... Luckily, we don't have to worry about that being an extra issue. Regular enemies just die at such crazy speeds for us. Ooh. Um, this makes our tears go, like, all over the fucking place. But it does give you homing. And because we're just generating so many tears, I feel like this is a very good idea. I think the trinket itself also gives you spectral. So we now technically have three forms of spectral. I don't think it, doubling it actually does anything for us. No! Oh! Um... I'm not sure if you guys can hear that, but uh, it seems that hitting this underground worm, not a good idea. The game has not crashed though. It's just running at like, minus one FPS. It seems that the little Skolex buddy dude really doesn't like this. So we're just going to have to wait this out, I think. Yeah. This guy is just going to be impossible for us to kill. It, it's, it sounds like it's trying to, it's trying to, like, use a million, um, like, punch knockback effects at once, but it's unable to trigger them for some reason. It's getting, like, hitched up. See, my, my, my current thing here is, do I want to do Hush? Because I don't have a lot of HP, and it could be rather difficult to do Hush. And he, in, like, knockback isn't really effective against him. So I, I really don't know if it's a good idea or not. The knockback not being effective against him really is the is the stickler there, the, the, the main issue. That is almost entirely where all of our damage comes from. We do have the homing and stuff though, so maybe it'll be fine. Maybe it won't be an issue. And the doom stacking? The doom stacking could do some good for us. It's hard to say, really. It's really hard to say. I 
I think the Doom stacking could do a very good job against him. Good old Mr. Fred. Oh, we can actually push Mr. Fred. That's entertaining. Strange, but it's entertaining. Also, we do have Bugateers as well. Bugateers are really good against uh, Hush. There's a lot of reasons to fight Hush. I'm not going to take that. I, I Normally, I wouldn't pussy out there. But if I get a damage down or a health down, I'm going to be in a real sore spot. I was really hoping for an angel deal, but I guess I'll take one this floor. Got more than enough time to make um, make the boss the hush. Yeah, diggity damn. Maybe not so much when we go the wrong way constantly, but there you go. Put the enemies with 10 year long death animations. Yeah, I doubt we're going to get a trinket that surpasses this one right now. Because this trinket normally isn't very good unless you're firing a fuck ton of tears. Because it just makes your tears go wacky and wavy and all over the place. It's very hard to manage. But with this many tears on screen, things are going to be hitting regardless, so it doesn't matter. With this setup, it works extremely well. Even things that we're not aiming at are getting hit. I saw that herming shot coming in. I don't think I didn't see that. See, although, actually, I wanted an angel deal, but really, I think I want a devil deal so I can get the next, um, the next key piece. Also, going the wrong way again here is rather frustrating. Yeah, the next key piece would be very, very nice to get. Both of you are dead. Not so bad. Right, let me go the right way this time, please. My god. Also, as well with the herming, we can spread our boys out further and it matter less. Because we can spread them out further and they're still mostly just as likely to hit because they're because of the herming. Is the boss. Don't like where I'm stood. You are dead. They're good. Pop has been unlocked. Lovely. Yeah, let's go in here. Okay, there's a soul heart there. That makes me feel a lot better about this. Right, and then just push him into the corner. Brutalize this boy. Make sure he doesn't brimstone. Right, push time. Let's give it a go. I'm a little apprehensive here. This could go really badly. We'll see how fast we end up killing him. Okay, so the K almost screwed me there. We've also got a door mimic there, which is rather strange. Uh, Item-wise, unfortunately, neither of these really do anything good for us. Um, rocket in a jar, I guess. Typeset's pretty good. Um, throws a flame, curses enemies, curses enemies will take extra damage. Okay, that's actually pretty good for us here. Right. Donate the rest that we can. I guess we go in here, why not? Coin decayed before it even got in the box, god damn it. Oh, is this another one of these rooms with the fucking Oh it doesn't have an exit? <laughs> right, um whoa, what the hell's going on here? Um Right. Spawn three is it three hundred point no five point three hundred point one. 
Okay, there you go. Good that I remember that. Right. Let's get in there and get this done. That flame did not seem very useful. Holy shit, what is this attack? This is all sorts of new. This is only the first phase, my dude. This might not go well, considering the first phase is already beating on me like this. Oh, I thought I could fucking squeeze between that. Apparently not. Okay, we are not doing a lot of damage to this guy. This is not gonna go well. This was a mistake and a half. I mean, he's got a lot of bugger tears stuck to him. That's good. I was kind of hoping it'd all go a bit quicker than this. Also, the flame. I can't tell if it's working or not. I think it is. Okay, we've managed to shove his ass up against the corner. Again, don't really know how good that is for us, I'll be honest. Pretty easy to manipulate though, and where we where we sit him. It's unfortunate that like all my buddies don't use the flame as well. That'd be kind of sick. Also, though, would be kind of powerful. We have six seconds of extra damage. I think we need to be utilizing it. It does seem to be working. We're actually doing okay damage now. Okay, the problem here I see is. We can knock him back while he's doing certain attacks that he shouldn't be able to be knocked back in. That could cause us to get hit accidentally, just by moving him when he shouldn't be able to be moved, sort of thing. I'm hoping that's not going to be the case, but it, it very well could be. And sometimes he's, like, jolting back towards me. Which I'm not entirely sure what's causing that. Get out from under the ground, you pussy. For God's sake. Okay. Just remembered I had rocket in a jar towards the end there and was like, actually, could be really useful for this fight. Essence of Judas. Interesting. Right. Down we go. HP is not looking good. I should have gone back to the shop and bought that soul heart. My mistake. Okay, that enemy took a while to die. We do have the two key pieces though, so we have higher chance for black heart spawns. I'm hoping that that pays out at some point. Okay, knocking these guys around is no good. <laughs> Thank God they died quickly, because knocking enemies around that do brimstone beams is not something I, I have on my wish list. Sadly, nothing of use there. Some enemies just die so fast and others take forever. This guy is an enemy that I physically do not understand how to fight, so let's just hope for the best. Okay, that fire got rid of all of his shots then. What are you going to give us? Black Heart or Devil Deal? Ooh, he gave us a Devil Deal. The Quarter. Why? Of I would literally have rather had a black heart. You dingus. You absolute dingus. That was horrible of you. Oh, dude, that guy spawned on me. Are you fucking kidding me? 
Right, this is probably where we die, but we'll give it a go. We've, we've beaten this guy without getting hit before. It can happen again. Okay, this guy gets really fucked up with knockback, so he doesn't like being moved. Okay, we actually killed that first phase extremely fast. This is the phase I'm always worried about, though. I'm very bad at dodging this. Ah, we got it. Nice, okay. Didn't even get hit. Didn't even get hit. Right, and I think now we can take more broken hearts if we want. I'm not sure if these deals will be heart deals or broken heart deals. I'm not actually sure. Okay, the heart deals, unfortunately. That is not what I'm looking for. Um, damage and tears, and we stay on the same health we're on now, and it removes the rotten heart. I'm gonna take that. I think, I think that's a good deal for us. Really hoping it'd be broken hearts there, but win some, you lose some, I guess. Die to the fire, my good dude. Unfortunately, we don't have our crazy luck anymore, so there's not a great chance of us getting a bunch of extra bits. Everything dead? Yep, everything dead. Bunch of extra chests, but I would have liked to have seen a few extra chests here. We'll see what we end up getting. You never know, there might be a few in store for us yet. My goodness. <laughs> uh, it's beautiful. Just beautiful is what it is. We've made it further than I thought we would, though, as this first run. I'm enjoying the hell out of this character. I don't think we'll ever have a run like this ever again, I'll be honest, but. There's a chest. That is fantastic. Although we don't have a super high chance to fire these, being able to destroy shots with them and them being large. Oh, dude. What is going on in this room? Okay, we might just die in this room because the frame rate's so low. I think what's happening is we're applying knockback to an enemy that cannot be knocked back, i.e. the big fucking face. Game don't like. I genuinely don't know how I'm not going to get hit here. Please say you're dead, sir. There you go, you're dead. Okay, I think it was that guy. Doing our best. Okay, not even a room we need to be in. Thanks for that game. No chest either? Ooh. Really spoiling me there. That was a lunge and a half, my good lad. Oh my god, that hand. That, they're the sort of rooms we need. Rooms that can just instantly die as we walk into them. It's an interesting room with a bunch of the uh, charming pots. Just pennies on every room at the minute. Nothing useful. We have. I'm not sure if my ghost can fire the blue fires, because they do seem to be coming out fairly often for the amount of luck that we have. So maybe they can. We only have 1.5 luck. I'm just worried about knocking enemies back into myself. 
That is genuinely a huge concern right now. Alright, careful for jumpers. A rain of puke doesn't help. Okay, that one's dead. He managed to puke up though. Okay. Hey, extra item. Oh, cloak baby as well. Hell yeah. Alexa, you join me for this land fight. You make it happen. He made it happen. No victory lap. Right, let's go and try. Go and try and do Mega Satan. I could do a few more rooms here. I probably should. Just try and get a few more items or a bit of HP. Decent. Yeah, and honestly, the rooms haven't been all that hard for us, so it's worth it, I think. Okay. Not a good room. Okay, that went very, very quickly. Okay. We are golden. I think this next room here is mega certain. And we're going to give it a go. I'm not super confident, but the blue fires do give me some more confidence, I will say. The blue fires give me some more confidence. Just because I can actually destroy incoming shots. I've also pulled my boys really far away from me to um, make sure we've got the maximum damage value we can get. There he is. I was like, where's my little fella gone? He's just ran away. I love the way we're just instantly destroying his hands. Oh my god. Holy shit, these guys are the worst because they can move around so much. The knockback's keeping him in the corner. You're dead. Okay, this is going remarkably well so far. I don't want to jinx myself, and I probably already have, but, like, things are things are going well. Yeah, you're going to regain your hand, but, dude, that hand is going to be gone in five seconds flat. Okay, second phase. I, I honestly think Ghost Pepper is the thing that has saved this run. We're able to destroy so many shots. Like, look how many of them are firing. The fact that it destroys shots is just incredible. Okay, it destroys fire too. I didn't realize that, but that's good. Oh, bugger. It's okay. So it's only one hit. Wow. I have to say, I am baffled. <laughs> we are, we've got the opportunity to, to, do, to, do, to do delirium. Why the hell not? Was that our first Mega Certain fight, this save file? I didn't, I didn't even know that. Yeah, our health is abysmal right now, but we could get more along the way, so... Why not try? I have, a, I have to say, this HP Delirium is just not feasible. It's too random. But you never know what we might get. You don't know till you know.
Get out of here with your bullshit attacks. The Rainbow Boys. Come on. Where's my black hearts? Soul hearts? Tinted rocks? Anything? Anything to keep me going. I could use many of the assistances. What in the fuck was that? That wasn't really fair, was it? That enemy just fucking come up from inside the ground below me. Now I'm on one heart. That's a tinted rock, I'm pretty sure. It is. That's also a secret room. Full of money I don't need. I'm gonna check this because they can contain soul hearts. Nope. Okay, we haven't found any bosses yet, which is kind of spooky. This happened last time with the Delirium, actually. Never any bosses about. Take entire routes and it's like, nah. No bosses for you. Okay, good. Still a bunch of wrong ways. Underground folk, not my type. Not my type. God damn, it's just bizarre how many rooms we're clearing and not seeing a single boss. Don't see a synth drop in here either. Power card, boys, you can go. Oh god, they used High Priestess on me. No thank you with a High Priestess. Double our number of keys. Oh my god, so useful. Um, apparently another enemy in this room. There was, apparently. Never managed to see them. Oh my god, it's a boss. What the hell? What is that thing? It's mum's heart. Okay, that was that was pretty easy. <laughs> and honestly, Botful Eye, not bad at all. Not a bad pickup at all. Not gonna save our life too many times, but it's decent. Well, this is interesting. Um. Excuse me? Why isn't this room over? What even hit me then? Was it one of the brimstones? I just not see it. Very possible. Burn to blood. Doesn't do anything. Intriguing. I'm guessing it turns red hearts into burn hearts, maybe? Something like that. This will be delirium. I'm sure to go for it. It's not, okay. It's just some basic bitch. The Bible. Oh, that does give us bookworm, actually. Fair enough, game. Fair enough. Sadly, this run is not going to make it much further here. I think the amount of HP we have would be lucky to get like three or four more rooms out of this, but we can only hope. We can only hope. As long as I don't somehow kill myself, I'll be happy. Oh, 
Good old Mama Gertie. <sighs> Just fucking yeet her off screen. Binky, that is some HP and honestly some very needed fire rate. But no, I would say very needed, but like we we hadn't had a fire rate upgrade in ages, so it's lovely. We didn't need it, but Okay, petrified poop. That is really good because we might get a, a soul heart out of this one now. Nah. Petrified poop did nothing to help there. That's some fat BS. Delirium? No? Getting lucky with not finding delirium so far. <gasps> oh, okay. Okay. So you're saying there's a chance. We've made a little bit of a comeback here. Unexpected, but beautiful. Void portals just being bipped around everywhere. The frail. Oh my god. Um. Yeah, I think that'll give us a damage up. Yes, it did. Good. It's always hard to work out whether that'll give you a damage up or not. If you've got a few damage ups already, you almost always will. And obviously we got like the pentagram and the knockback one and stuff like that, so... Just looking for soul hearts. That's all I care about. And you are blasted in the S, Blastasis. I just had a really, really horrible thought. Blastasis sounds like a um a pawn company for stepsister pawn. <laughs> right, let's do this boss. This this might be delirium. And now all of you are only ever going to be able to... There we go, win the fight. All of you are only ever going to be able to think of that now, and I, 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 I adore that. Okay, so the fires should help a good amount, I think. Basically, as, as always with Delirium, we just want him to transform into his base form. If he does that, we are golden. We will kill him so fast. Also noticing that some of my tears aren't actually destroy uh, some of my fires aren't actually destroying his tears, so that's a problem. They are sometimes, but like not others, it's weird. I'm trying to hit him with the extra damage fire, but honestly it's not working too well. Like, it's so nice that we have the off-screen indicator now as well. There he is. Stay in this form for as long as you can, Mr. Man. For as long as you can. That was pretty good. We got a good amount of damage on him there. What's going on with our fires? Honestly. Just so many of them. I could not tell you what the fuck's going on with our fires and destroying stuff sometimes, and how many of them there is. There's just so many. I don't know how we're firing so many with 2.5 luck. Don't you dare glitch into me. Honestly, the knockback, like, sticky shots are making so much more of a problem out of him, like, moving around so sporadically. So much more of an issue out of it. Oh, look at that shit! <laughs> how the fuck am I meant to track this? Where have you gone? I managed to push you all the way into the bottom corner there. Don't know where he's gone now. I'm so confused. Uh, excuse me. It says he has full health now? Oh, wait. No, no, no. He doesn't. His health bar got renewed, but he's got the same amount of health. X fucking cues me. Okay, you died. Good. What? <laughs> Did you see that brimstone? Okay, this was a momentous run. 
This is probably one of my favourite runs I've had in a really long time. The old knife has appeared in the basement. And there you go. I hope you guys did enjoy our first look at Tarnished Judas there. An absolute blast. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.